I constantly, hi, I'm Paul Begley. I constantly read to you from the Bible and share with you news events, current events, news stories that are happening. And many, many, many times they, they literally are fulfillment of Bible prophecy. And I talk to you about this constantly for over a year. And, and many of you have come to Jesus Christ and many of you have subscribed to this channel and some of you have even stepped up to the plate and are helping me financially which is so very important and I need you to do that but what I'm going to share with you right now is coming from you it's prophetic unction that's coming out of folks there's a lady first of all let's go back I'm going to tell you about the super volcano in Yellowstone National Park that is even larger it's gigantic it's gigantic larger than all the scientists originally thought it's the Bible may have a clue to it but let me say to this back do you remember when the the Mount Merapi in Indonesia was just about ready to explode God sent me a dream of the explosion I literally seen the mountain blowing off I seen floods of water and fire well, I went finally, after the Holy Spirit would not let me rest, I went on video here on YouTube and explained to everyone that it was going to happen, that I seen Mount Merapli exploding, and I warned everyone. I said, please get away from that mountain. It's going to blow. The top of the mountain is going to blow. I posted the video 11 minutes after I posted it. You can look at the time of the posting and then go check the historical records of the time of the earthquake. But 11 minutes after I posted the video, a massive earthquake hit Indonesia. So powerful that a tsunami followed, killing over 450 people. And six hours later, the top of Mount Merapi, there in the same, right there in Indonesia, the same country, Mount Merapi blew, killing another 400 people with the lava just, just roaring. After that, there were several more uh, eruptions but the exact vision God gave me happened and, and after I posted it it happened 11 minutes later now many of you know that you watched me you were following me you were shocked and the comments come roaring in well do you remember when this last the, the earthquake last month March 11 2011 there was a lady that came on our, my channel right here on Paul Begley 34 YouTube she spoke out she made a comment live a comment that said uh, this thing is going to go she kept saying there's going I see in a dream and a vision I see a major earthquake is going to happen she said I see the numbers and I see the uh, and I see the tsunami but I don't know how high but it's high I see the numbers but I can't remember them I'm not sure exactly where but it's going to happen and it's big her name her handle here on YouTube is called Public Warnings. That's what she goes by, Public Warnings. And that's what she was doing. She was prophesying public warnings to us. 14 hours later, listen to me for a minute. 14 hours later, the fifth largest earthquake in the history of the world, 8.9 in Japan, rocked the island, shoving it back eight feet, Moving the earth off its axis 9.8 inches, slowing down the day by 1.6 milliseconds, destroying the country of Japan, followed by a 30-foot tsunami that wiped out 27,000 people and has got three nuclear reactors melting down as we speak and three others in trouble with radiation in the air. She warned us by a prophecy. One hour before the earthquake, a lady in Rochester, Indiana, her name is Barb. Barb stepped outside, troubled in her spirit. She began taking pictures of the moon. I have seen these pictures, and actually you can go to her channel and uh, look at the pictures. And she took the pictures of the moon. She sent them to me. She actually, she actually came to my church in Knox, Indiana and showed them to me. I looked at them on my emails that she sent me. 
she took these pictures one hour, one hour before the massive earthquake hit in Japan. When you look at the pictures, you can see several different faces of demons. I've seen them myself. I can't deny it. Now, I don't know where you're at on this situation, but the reason I'm sharing this with you, the reason I have to share this, is there's a man by the name of Philip down in Alabama who I spoke to. He's urgently, and I even had a conversation with him, in which he shared with me how God had spoke to him in a dream twice of a massive earthquake, a major earthquake of 9.1 that's going to hit somewhere inland. He thinks, he feels it's the United States of America, but he's not positive. It could be another country. It's not along a coastal, so there's not a tsunami. It's inland, and it's huge, and it is 9.1, the exact amount would you pray about that? And would you prepare for whatever that could be? And does that have anything to do with this super volcano in Yellowstone? I'm not sure. He's not the only one, though, that's getting these dreams and visions. There's another lady who calls herself Watch, um, Watch Woman. Um, and she keeps sending me uh, emails urgently prophesying of a great earthquake as well. So, Philip, you're not the only one. Others have sent me comments. They feel in her spirit of a great and mighty earthquake. And then my friends out in Idaho and in different places in Canada, my friend Ken up in um, Vancouver, Canada, continue to warn me of a massive earthquake that could create wormwood itself. Now, I want to read this to you before I read this uh, article from the Associated Press, but this is what the Bible says, quickly. And in the 8th chapter of the book of Revelation, whether this has any correlation or not positive, but I'm going to read it to you anyway, because it is the word of God. The Bible said in Revelation chapter 8, And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven, about the space of a half hour. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and earthquakes. Let me read that again. And there were, uh, he cast it upon the earth out of the fire, out of the altar of God. And he said that there was voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. And seven angels, which had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and they were cast upon the earth, and the third part of the trees were burnt up. All the green grass was burnt up, and the second angel sounded, and it was like a great mountain burning, and with fire was cast into the sea. The third part of the sea became blood, and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life, they died. And the third part of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star. From heaven, burning as it were a lamp, it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters, because they were made bitter. Do you understand that if the Yellowstone National Park super volcano underground, if it erupts, do you understand what would happen? Scientists fear it would be the greatest catastrophe in the history of the world. It literally may completely eliminate the United States of America and parts of Canada and that the tsunami that would emerge from it might be so massive that it c crashes into the coast of Russia. Let me read to you this article. 
And I mean, Yellowstone National Park is, is a long way from the Pacific Ocean. But we're talking about something of catastrophic, maybe, and without question, of biblical proportions. I'm beyond biblical proportions. I'm talking prophetic. I'm talking absolutely beyond our ability to imagine and comprehend the power of it. Now, I'm going to read this article to you right now. I'm feeling the passion of this. I've got a granddaughter back there. It's doing something. But hang on. The gigantic underground plume of partly molten rock that feeds the Yellowstone supervolcano might be bigger than previously thought. A new image suggested. The study says nothing about the chances of a cataclysmic eruption at Yellowstone, but it provides scientists with a valuable new perspective on the vast and deep reservoir of fiery material that feeds such eruptions, the last of which occurred, they believe, many thousands of years ago. Now, earlier measurements of the plume were produced by using seismic waves, the waves generated by earthquakes. To create a picture of the underground region, the new picture was produced by examining the Yellowstone plume's electrical conductivity, which is generated by molten silicate rocks and hot briny water that is naturally present and is mixed with the partially molten rocks. And you know, as this thing is spewing, it's hissing, it's like a massive pressure cooker who's just letting off little bits of steam. But eventually this thing, the scientists believe, is going to go. Are you saved? You see, people, people that are part of this ministry, people that are watching every day, people who have spiritual gifts to begin to prophesy and see the visions of the end. Daniel saw the end. John the Baptist saw, I mean, John the, the Revelator saw the end. Many people seen, Apostle Paul, Apostle Peter, many saints that have walked on the earth and many living right now can see by the eye of faith a vision of the end of time, the apocalypse for sure, and the second coming of Jesus Christ. Are you saved? I want you to send me a personal message right here, right now. This might be the most critical moment of your entire life. I want you to send it right now. I want to be saved. 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 I want to help you get saved. I want to help you by giving you some scriptures, prayer, email correspondence with you, leading you in the path of salvation through the blood of Jesus Christ. For by grace are you saved through faith. I got a letter in the mail yesterday from a man down in Tennessee who basically is rebuking me and saying that I should not. Basically, he doesn't say it, but he, he is saying it. He doesn't believe that you can be saved this way. But go, t sir, without being angry, let me just say this to you. Go tell the 125 people and more as they're stacking up this morning. Go tell them that they're not saved, okay? Go tell them they're not saved. And I dare you. I double dog dare you because Jesus Christ is the Savior. I'm Paul Begley. Send that personal message right now. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. i got a little granddaughter in here. I want to be saved. Do it right now in Jesus' name. I'm going to be back. We've got another video coming in just a moment on the remains of John the Baptist. If you want to financially bless this ministry, go to my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. But I, most importantly thing, people, give your heart to Jesus. The Lord is coming back. I'm preaching the gospel for your souls and mine. In Jesus' name, God bless you.